You are watching my favorite YouTube channel. My name is Chillmonger. I like to think of myself as a chill guy. Somebody who goes, hey, something black is happening over at Marvel. Let me support it. Not only do I buy the Black Panther comic book, I'll also go ahead and I'll check out some of these variants. And I want no part of that excuse that these black characters just don't sell. I'm the, I'm the guy who goes, let me put my money where my mouth is. There's someone worth supporting. I am somebody who views T'Challa the Black Panther as high profile. And I will not let this character, I will not pass up on a book because the book is bad. Jonathan Ridley wrote a book. Last week, let's, let's go to last week, actually. Where's my last week's issue? This page here has T'Challa getting beat up. So this was last week. This was issue 12. You see? 12. Side note, I upgraded my stream uh, yard, and you can see a pretty good 1080p picture. I like it. That. That was last week. Issue 13 of this week, we get more of that malarkey. How badly, with T'Challa and Captain America, how badly does this character need to get beaten up on a week monthly basis? This isn't the story we're looking for. This is not the story we've been asking for. I remember after the movie came out, the high that Black Panther franchise was back in 2018. And if you wanted to be the Black Panther comic, you opened up Intergalactic Empire of Wakanda, which was so different from the movie stuff. It was like a guy who didn't even remember himself. His name was T'Challa. There were other guys named M'Baku, but it wasn't M'Baku. And there was a, it was so confusing. It was the wrong book at the time. Whatever. Now, new run. And it's just this guy not being the hero that he is. And then they say things in this comic book, which is so stupid. Do you remember when Jahai was saying like, uh, oh, T'Challa won't quit. I know him. He's not the one to just give up because it's not an if he's coming, it's when he's coming. If that's the case, why would... How could this page be possible in the last week's issue when he was just down on his knees and just ready to get his head? Why, where, why is he quitting? Where's the fight? Where's the tenacity that of t'challa which which a very book very later oh i know t'challa he would never just sit down and just take it what about this what about that the only reason he was saved is because on the next page somebody actually popped up and said um some guy some guy just shot him up he's like i'm a wakandan too and i love you t'challa that was that was that what nerdette is in the live chat she says you should check out what he did with Lucius Fox this week too, uh, over on DC, bro. Truly, the Lucius Fox thing is a temporary is temporary representation. It's um, always be secondary to black to Batman. Excuse me, I don't rate that. I can't give that any credit. I can't give my dollars that. I know the ending point. Somebody like T'Challa though, this guy's been in the company for sixty years. There's no reason to believe he won't be in the company for the next sixty years, even if they sidelined him in the movie. I know this is the primary guy. I can get behind this guy here. I can't do that with Lucius Fox and any of the other kind of characters where they go, we'll do a version of a character who's popular, but we'll just change the skin tone. We gotta, we're got we not racists. I can't support that stuff, man. John Ridley writes that. Let me join D-Real to the page. We cannot see you. Can we hear you? Uh, Hang on a second. I hear you. Okay. Huh. Tristan says, I understand that. He was just now made a uh, cheater slash a liar. How about that? Hi there. Bro, the John Ridley stuff is not positive. Like, and it's not like a small group of people who don't believe John. What's going on, Theo? Hello, Theo. What's going on? What's going on? Let me let me let me let me adjust something here. Let me let me, let me come back out and come back in. Okay. Better? What we're going to do right now is I'm just going to go to Twitter since you brought up John Ridley and type his name in the search bar. Tristan, you don't got Twitter. I got you. Okay. We're going to go to John Ridley and see what happens. Let me share my screen before I do that. Actually, that'd be wise if I did that, wouldn't it? Be patient, folks. See that? 
if I go to the latest tweets, oh, I didn't open it yet. There we are. Perfect. Oh, you're away from home. You didn't got to join me if you're away. Thank you. No, this is <laughs> this is this is important. So I'm stepping in. Can't wait for Ridley to be done with Black Panther. I hope Jeff Thorne gets a BP. Bro, people say that, but we're just saying that because Jeff Thorne is black himself. Give me any writer who is capable of writing Amazing Spider-Man and X-Men and Fantastic Four. If they can write them, they can write T'Challa. Jonathan so, Hickman typed... has always been respectful. Come on now. Jason Heron, for the most part, has always <laughs> been respectful of T'Challa when writing stories. John Ridley... Um, what have we seen that John Ridley has done in a positive light for T'Challa during his run that he hasn't taken away? I love Thorne. He's a great writer. I agree with that, too. Richardo says, when will Marvel and DC realize that while, yes, maybe having representation behind the scenes of these diverse characters can be good, but if they aren't good enough to write, then don't let them write. T'Challa finna get diabetes at the end and lose his foot. <laughs> Dump, you know what I mean? Don't give um, any ideas. It, Look, I typed John Ridley into Twitter, and the people are talking. When March comes and John Ridley is no longer writing for Black Panther, and that means greater than everyone if you're uninformed. Final insult. John Ridley should never return to comic writing ever again. I'm just going to like yeah. every single one of these bad boys. I didn't know who John Ridley was before today. But he has some explaining to do because whatever that was I saw was not it. You know which page he was talking about, don't you? John Ridley wrote the screenplay to 12 Years a Slave. Next. Oh, my God. Next one is from Comics and Movies. I don't think this one counts. We're just talking about a, like a link. Kevin Conroy Forever says... John Ridley, we coming for you. What was he responding to? Something that Superhero Talk posted. Maybe he just yeah, wants and this to guy come said, for John Ridley. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably acceptable too. But yeah, it was definitely this. It was whoever wrote this to never write Captain America ever again. Well, it was a, in a Black Panther book, actually. Anywho, so there's two people he can't write. <laughs> He's no tiny easy coats. Ridley, yeah. at this point, just keep Black writers far away from T'Challa. They don't have the range. Get Al Ewing or Jonathan Aikman in there to fix it. And then you say, no, no, no. Keep black writers that don't give two dams about T'Challa away from him. Jeffrey Thor that or part. Brian Edward Hill. How about that? Would be a huge upgrade from John Ridley, especially Brian Edward Hill. Should I like that. We were just chatting about that. Hey, Theo, didn't you tweet uh, Brian Edward Hill? What did he say about that? Um... It was kind of like, uh, how can I put it? I basically congratulated him on being the next writer on Black Panther. Like, I just threw it out there. And he didn't deny it. He was like, you know, I appreciate it and everything like that. Um, it was off the strength of a conversation that I had with Marcus from back of the bus and everything like that. Where, um, it, And it might have been you as well, Chill, in which you were talking about. Normally speaking, what they do is they like to have an author do a test run on a, on a one shot or a particular character to see what the, you know, the feedback will be from that particular character. And uh, there, I looked at, I read it, you know, and I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, exactly. Um, you got something going on there. Okay. So I was like, okay, you know what? Let me take a shot and see based on the conversations that I've had with my fellow um, YouTubers, my fellow Black Panther fans, comic book fans. Let me take a shot and see what's going on be received so i said okay because he either gonna say i am or i'm not well he won't be disrespectful in public right and and i wasn't looking for him to do that now that i wasn't looking for him to do um i just wanted to see whether or not he was he was gonna take the bait as far as like yeah i'm writing it you put your finger so in the water kind of, see if it's warm <laughs> yeah uh <laughs> so yeah i'm 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 hoping he is. Uh, he didn't deny it. Uh, he kind of like acted like, yeah, that's his his gig coming up. Um, I do find it telling, um, especially talking to you and everything like that, because it's, it's one of those things that as 
as comic book fans, unless you, you dive into it, you really don't notice. They do their omnibuses in six issues, six to 12 issues. So for Ridley to be coming off in 15 is like, wow. The coming trade off. paperback, that first story that this man did, John Ridley did, couldn't fit into a trade paperback. He did one right. too big for that. He, he, this guy's not a comic book brain. He's not like, I, and I don't, I hate that I said that. I hate that I'm putting down. I like that's not what I, this is about. If you guys have been watching me for a long time, I'm really right. not that negative on people. Like there are people I've been negative on. Don't get me wrong. Like Kathleen Kennedy over the Star Wars stuff and Ryan Johnson. Like I've, you know, I, I, I think that, I think there's a difference if, uh -huh. if if I may between being negative and being critical. If you're a fan of something, it's like okay, yeah, he deserves every single criticism. Right. If 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 the Big Mac is supposed to taste a certain type of way and you're accustomed to it tasting a certain type of way. I don't think we can get mad if you complain that McDonald's tells you they come out. Hey, we changed the taste of the Big Mac. You can't be mad at somebody. For, hey, man, I don't like that. <laughs> so you're not wrong. If you're a fan of something, it's changed. It's, it's negative. And, and if you're a fan, it's safe to say you've been rocking with it through the good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful. You have a right to critique it. <laughs> I do. I do. I noticed in this comic book issue that Captain Marvel approached T'Challa when he was in flight flight mode. And you can see that face he made like, oh, hell. First of all, T'Challa would never say the words, oh, hell. That's not his ver verbiage. This man is a regal king who has better ways to vocalize that. But also, this is T'Challa. This is the guy who's got plan B. He's supposed to expect. He's got a contingency plan that he wrote for the Avengers, which was a copy of the Batman story. But that's fine. That's what you decided to do, John Ridley? Fine. Don't tell me he didn't expect her to be flying. I don't want T'Challa to be flying his plane. <gasps> oh, no, deer in the headlights. Captain Marvel's here. I need, uh, it's about time. Plan B. And then he goes into defensive maneuvers. That's T'Challa. I don't need them to be... like The verbiage in here is not uh, John Ridley's strength. There was a moment he was talking to Shuri, uh, maybe just a page earlier, where he asks her over the intercom where is the exact page shuri you there okay i just don't hear the man t'challa the king asking shuri you there this is the guy who's too busy flying shuri he's not asking shuri that way like he he's not acting the way that i would expect him to watch or act from prior things that i've read am i being ridiculous with that one d real or is that Something that he shouldn't be saying. Sure, you there? He's he's been very out of character, and just Wakanda in general has been out of character on on John Ridley's entire run. Now, whether that is because they're trying to shift the paradigm and westernize Wakanda, or if John Ridley just actually really doesn't know what the heck he's doing, ding, ding, or ding. Maybe there's no, who's a plan. Wait, wait, who's but... they? I'm sorry, sorry to interrupt you, but Marvel is not trying to westernize or anything. They just black, black. Dude, that's the hiring. That's the thought that they go behind. Oh, look, he directed things. This guy is known. He's a name. Maybe it'll make new re readers. That's what the thought process. They're not actually trying anything. They're just, oh, black, black. Ugh. Well, sorry, at continue. least do some research. I mean, and I know all three of us on our pages talk about that. If your authenticity is important. If you haven't done any research whatsoever about African culture and African people and the way African people speak, and you just, you know, throwing this westernized version of African culture at us, and you don't give a damn about the hero's journey, apparently, because eventually isn't T'Challa's journey supposed to culminate into something yeah, other than you something gotta wait till depressing? issue 15. You got to have him be just down for 14 issues. Then issue 15 will get the sunrise and everything's beautiful. You got to wait 15 issues. That's how it works. Look Boy, at this. It he's going to have to come with the funk in issue 15 because he done totally cannibalized everything that the child was. Just stripped everything away from him. Now, here's an example of a writer doing the research. So Monica Rambeau also came out this week. If you have money and you want to spend it on one comic book, it should be this one. At the very bottom... And she does this a couple times. E.E. E. tells us that you can see Secret Wars issue number one. I mean, rather, uh, one and two for some of these shenanigans. E.E. E. 
So the writer Eve Ewing, new to comic books as well, you know, relatively new. She oh, also wait, 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 wait. Can we give it up to him? That's a black woman. Can we clap it up? Can, 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 can we clap it up one time? Because, you know, hey, you know, it been some people saying some stuff and everything like that. That is a woman. She's black. She's an author. She gives a damn about the source material. Boom. It, listen. You ain't got to be a specific demographic to give a damn. All you got to do is just give a damn. That's all you got to do. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. They can do test runs at it's always their diverse characters that need better writers. Bro, the test, there are the test run characters. Kamala Khan, Ms. Marvel, has a new writer on her every single time, whether it's Jody Hauser or um, the movie director again. What's his name? Sabir or something? Um, G. Willow Wilson and Saladin Ahmed. These are not name names they always give them the oh yeah we'll, we'll test you out with this little character here samira ahmed like here do be ms marvel beyond the limit there's just a level and viewer readers the customers we see it we know who you're behind and who you're not behind shortly ago i made up a list of like like characters that i said were priority and this is oh let me cover this is this was my top 30 up here a video ago on a live stream i was talking to mike from Rogue Comics, who, hear, who who jokes and says, I'm a closet Ridley fan. No, I'm not. But we did that video, ranking characters, and it looked the same way, where it was like mostly white guys up top, and the characters that Marvel's slightly behind are down here. It's like a 30-minute video. If you guys have the time to check it out, check it out. What I actually want to do again is a live stream with you, the audience, and you can tell me who Marvel really rates, who they have their backs behind, and who they put support behind, and who they don't. And then we can, again, look at how exactly white this comic book company is and how they have the nerve to celebrate Black History Month with, with utter filler. Um, that's not the point of this video, though. This is the Black Panther. And this is the... Yeah, go ahead, Theo. This, this is... This bothers me because it's a cop-out in regards to this particular character. I've heard it, read it too many times. I can write this character the way I want to write this character. I'm the one that's writing the character. That's that's fair to a degree. But I also think those same people that say that, I don't think John really would have wrote Bruce Wayne like this. <laughs> I, I I don't. And and I, had he tried, I believe the editorial staff would have stopped it. Never reaching publication. Shout out Will Moss. I looked at in this in this series, a guy who has the heart shaped herb flowing through his system has had hands put on him by Amalolo. Oh yeah. Achille. Jai. Uh the Hatutzraze had him down on his hands and knees looking like he was about to die. His ex-wife has told him they can never, she will never see him as a lover ever, ever again. Like there has been nothing redeeming story-wise about this. And I've read a lot of comics. Like I've seen Bruce Wayne go through his trials and tribulations. I've read Tony Stark go through his trials and tribulations. I've seen Steve Rogers go through his trials and tribulations. I've never seen. And this guy's a king. <laughs> like, it's a fictional character. I just tweeted. Derek Bozeman's statements, because his statement on December 8th becomes more and more telling every day. December 8th of 2020, before Kevin Feige officially said, we will not recast the character. Right. He did an interview on Urban Faith, talking to uh, someone in the Christian community. And what he said was? What he said was, they didn't like the image. And I'm paraphrasing. Marvel didn't like what it represented. They didn't like what it reflected. What it is like seeing a black man as a king, right? Didn't like seeing a black man in a position of power. And John Ridley's runs, I'm sorry to interrupt you. See him be see him be a victim, yes, yeah. See him yeah. be dead in the street, yeah. But see and him be a king, 
Nah, and that movie represented something. Like, I, 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 I mean, let's, let's, you know, this is about Black Panther and everything like that, but y'all know me. Y'all been rocking with me. I've been rocking with y'all. Y'all know me how I related to real world situations and everything like that. So here you had this story. This guy is seen after Ta-Nehisi Coates as a galactic emperor. Like, they didn't put a crown on him and everything like that. Yeah. And in the real world, we were seeing brothers, sisters being slain out in the streets. And it got to a point where the world had just had enough. As a black man, I can't tell you how that made me feel. It brought tears to my eyes to see the world come together and say, hey, man, y'all got to stop. That's wrong. Stop that. The whole world, that's what we have been looking for as a race of people. For the whole world, they acknowledge this, say, hey, this is wrong. Okay. Well, what wound up happening shortly after that? Because it ain't like it stopped. We sat back and we watched and we 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 joked about it and we we laughed about it and we signed off on it. Black misery became the thing. I we went through a holiday season where we didn't get one black holiday movie. The movies that talk about families coming together, overcoming obstacles and realizing that they are family. We didn't get any of that. You look at what's going on in the small. comic book. It's Say again misrepresent now. It's misrepresentation and underrepresentation. All of it. And we've been saying it since day one. Recast the child. It was always about more than the, the getting the character recast. It was about more than honoring the actor and everything. It was about what the character and the actor represented. And when you look at this, this damn near feels deliberate. Like, I, I'm not going to say damn near. This feels deliberate. This is the, yeah, a does. deliberate way. To, yep. to undermine this character, to get it to the point where, you know, people that That's are just all John Ridley knows, the though. That is view mm -hmm. They feel like the character is what the character is based on the big screen. So the character was mistreated, mishandled on the big screen. So if new people are coming in, they see the character as being worthless in the comics and everything. That's all they got to go by because they're not going backwards. And that's why I said, that's why I say, looking at superhero movies, there are way more people watching and critiquing and speaking on superhero movies, but don't know jack about the source material, where those comics come from, the origins of those characters, those characters' true motivation, the type of character that they are and they've they've driven t'challa so far away from what he was cinematically and you get folks like john ridley oh i'm gonna write it based on no type of research that i did i i, I bet john ridley's never read jungle action i bet john ridley's never read uh the four issue miniseries of the black panther that came out in 1988, where don't, where he fought a South African Justice League, basically. don't care to wait. You know, that's one but, but my thing. My thing about it is, just like you said on Twitter not too long ago, in order to pull somebody down, they got to be on top first. So apparently, they doing a lot of damn pulling on T'Challa. And many, the people see heroes? it. How many black heroes have we lost in the MCU, by the way? Heimdall, gone. Battlestar, gone. T'Challa, gone. <laughs> War Machine, that's half a dude. <laughs> Period. Oh, <laughs> Period. And can't nobody tell me why. Like, that's the sad part about it. Because in the comics, Battlestar is a whole enhanced superhuman. <laughs> T'Challa... Yeah. Regardless of what John Ridley is writing, it's still that damn dude. And 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 what what's you think, to, time you dog, think John I'm Ridley should get? World, bro. I don't know. Do you think John Ridley should get ten thousand lashings for John Ridley? <laughs> he you know what? Get something. He should I get something. Should get, I think he should get excommunicated. Like I yeah. I I think he should be where he we no longer acknowledge him. Like don't, don't let him write no more comics, not just Black Panther. Oh, don't let him he's write. He's not writing any more comics. comics. That's it, though. Period. That's his job. After he's done with this issue of Black Panther, so the 15th issue is his final one. I don't see him on the docket to be writing no, 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 any no, no, of those no. other characters. Chill, 
Chill, I don't want him writing any comic book related stuff, period. No graphic novel. No, don't do no interviews. Don't do interviews. nothing. Just go away. And nothing just, with a word balloon. That part, what he said. He can't even go. blow balloons at his birthday party. No, 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 no. You don't get to do nothing. And watch this. Because I love superhero point blank period. Yeah, yeah. Now I love mine now. But I love superhero point. I don't want him around any superheroes. Period. No superhero related material whatsoever. No, definitely not mine. Definitely not mine. Not I don't want him around nothing. Nothing. Can't play Absolutely. Super Mario. Nothing. No, no. T'Challa has been getting his <laughs> ass his ass whooped a lot. Please yes. end this book. Please end this book. Save T'Challa. This is from Emperor T'Challa Bronze Dog Struggle, who I follow. That he's like the first one talking about it. To, to be John a Ridley formidable, stuff continues. To be one of the most formidable hand to hand combatants in all the Marvel universe. Yes, he does get his hat handed to him a lot. He does. Now, that last issue, I remember he had, like, his arm in a sling. Fine. But his face has, has healed since that shellacking. So I would assume that he's healed his hand as well. Who, he bru has full who bruised on. him up? Who who bruised up the dude with the heart say herb in his It was who, a normal civilian. Normal, was a regular, normal, regular, not super-powered. Job. And that's what adds insult to injury. You got normal dudes putting hands on T'Challa. Sam Wilson? Hmm. Well, that was in what? Symbol of Truth. Still. They didn't, put, they didn't even try. I, I can understand it if you'd have made it like a tie or, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or somebody would have intervened before it got too brutal but you just got him putting hands all day and he's getting hands put on him in another comic book come on i seen batman in a in a in a yellow and red black purple suit brain operating on 10 percent capacity <laughs> whoop a bunch of thugs ass like it was nothing why are you comparing black batman to black panther because, because i'm looking at the child i'm trying to figure out like that was Bruce operating at 10% beating up some thugs. Now, Bruce ain't superhuman. He not. You superhuman, and the way they writing you, you got regular people. Because forget the Achilles, he is a regular person. How is regular people putting hands on T'Challa? How are regular people lumping him up? And he ain't he ain't operating at 10% capacity. He operating at 100% mental capacity. And they literally putting hands on him? Yeah. They train blows? No, Did you ever remember that issue of Batman where Joker came in and saved him? Because the final page is featuring Namor popping in and saying, "Hey, King, we're on the same team, huh?" That's that MCUification stuff. That's that thing where they link something that happened in a movie and they go, "Oh yeah, people are gonna enjoy this in the comics." Here's why you shouldn't do that. One of the reasons, many reasons why. What they did in the movie writing room is they adapted a 2009 story of Shuri becoming the Black Panther, the fight with Namor. That, that Desert Sun stuff, that was in a comic in 09. They put it in a movie. You now, in 2023, adapted a movie which adapted a comic story. If you continue to do that, one day the movies are going to say, hey, let's turn to the comics and adapt something so that we can make a new movie. And they'll realize, well, all they've been doing in the comics was copying the material from the movies, which essentially is regression because you're just copying stuff from the comics. Namor should not and then Namor should just not be on the same team as T'Challa. They should not be liked. The last time they were interacting with each other was not positive. I believe they fought each other over the Phoenix Force in Avengers. Is that true? Yes. Something like that happened just, just last year. John really's yeah. not reading that. Will Moss is not editing this. Will Moss gets to say, goes to go to the parties and stuff, sit there with a drink and be like, you know, uh, I'm the editor on the Black Panther book. And that gets him what it, what it gets him. I'm, yeah. yeah, I'm insulting Will Moss too. Everyone's getting these hands. There, there's yeah. just people who are not qualified. No, Steve Orlando should not be writing Black Panther Trinity. Um, Vita for Black Panther. I will not take Vita Ayala either for Black Panther. Give me someone. If, if Vita Ayala was the X-Men writer, but if Vita's not good enough to write X-Men, no. You got to be qualified to be writing the characters up top on this little list that I got right over here. You see that? You see Spider-Man? If you can write Spider-Man, Wolverine, Hulk, Mr. Fantastic, or Captain America, or Iron Man, or Cyclops, or Thor, or Daredevil, or Venom, 
I want to see you write Black Panther. Those characters Somebody up here have a Prince privilege. Priest and offer him a whole bunch of money. Him too. These characters here have the benefit of, well, the writer from this guy, Spider-Man, was also the writer for Iron Man a few moments later. So the stuff that matters here may continue here, may continue in the Cyclops book. If Jerry Duggan is doing the X-Men and he's doing Iron Man, surely that's going to matter when he's doing the next event that features both of them. T'Challa doesn't have that. What event did Jonathan Mayberry or Reginald Hudlin, I'm wrong about that, do more. Uh, what, what did Christopher Priest do that linked up with other heroes? And it's just like once you're done with the Black Panther thing, you're gone from the company. Put writers on there who are going to continue or shut the F up and don't celebrate Black History Month with a Marvel Voices comic because you don't actually care. You don't actually put the investment in these characters. You just do enough to prove to who that works to. That works on some people. Some executives go, oh, look, we're doing a Black Panther thing. We're not racist. <laughs> we're invited to the cookout. It's you not know, the case. You know, Clone War wasn't this bad. I, I wasn't a big fan of Clone War. But I, I'm, I'm trying to think of another story arc that I absolutely despise like I despise this. Like, I'm trying to seriously think about a hero. You know what this is? I never liked the way Scott Summers was written in the movies. Mm -hmm. I never, I never liked the way Cyclops was written in the movies. I always hated that depiction of him. And this is that. Like I felt like writers deliberately undersold Scott Summers to prop up Logan, Wolverine, Hugh Jack. And I always hated that. And this is on that same level. It's worse for me because I'm looking at it's me. But it's it's on that same level, if that makes sense. I can't, I don't like this. Like I absolutely, I don't know why he's still writing. Like I do not know why. I, it's one thing for 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 us that's really locked into the character to be complaining about it, but when everybody and their mama start noticing it, why is he still there? Assistant editor, and editor. You guys are catching this criticism as well. Indeed. It's way too small. Let me upsize that. Indeed. Because if you if he wrote it, you had to approve it. That's why I said it feels deliberate. Because it's like you gotta know. Like, I'm not from Africa. You know, I, I trace my descendants back to the slave trade. I got that far. So I know some of. But man, come on, just because you're not from a country or you're not from a demographic, don't mean you can't research it. To get it right, to get the jargon right, to get the takes right. Like it and, don't, it's and not. And you don't even need to know. You don't even need an African bachelorette, uh, bachelor of history. Like you don't need that to know that Captain America can't be beating up on him. Jahai can't be beating up on him. And the, the long list of people just whooping his ass lately. Donny Cates should write the Black Panther. I've got no objections to that. We have another Brian Edward Hill and Jeffrey Thorne nomination from Black Law that these names seem to be popping up a lot. You just reminded me of how Jason Aaron wrote a more accurate T'Challa than John Riley. You must be talking about See Wakanda and Die, the three issues that were a tie into Secret Invasion just at the end of the Reginald Hudlin run. And then he gave him even more love in the Avengers run. Yeah, I got... Okay, I'll give you that. Uh, he, he featured him, he made him the leader, but it could have been more. If you're the leader, well, I wanted more. not even just... Not even just the leadership role, you know, mm -hmm. them showcasing, and I did a video on it, them showcasing Wakanda and martial arts while he's putting hands on Moon Knight. Him uh, manipulating, of anybody who was in that Enter the Phoenix storyline, T'Challa put hands on more people during that than anybody. Okay. He was disrespected in the comics, too. They made him a dick. Wait, can I say this real quick? In that same storyline, Chill and U U and D reference where he fought Namor with the Phoenix Force, fought over the you know get the Phoenix Force and everything like that. It was in that same storyline that they also honored Chadwick Boseman by naming the Wakandan Helicarrier after him. Oh, nice. Facts. So we had we had the actor be honored in the comic and still the character was alive as well. <laughs> so yeah, it can, can be, be done. You know, wow. you know what? You don't got to compliment Chadwick Boseman to the point where you're restricting the character of the child. That's not necessary. 
I hope it's not on the same level because those movies created an entire generation of people who think Scott is a B and gets cucked by Logan. Does anyone know what the sales for Black Panther comics are? ComicCron.com does not share that information. Do, do you guys know where to go to get any kind of sales data? I guess not. Here comes the John Ridley slander continuing. Nah, y'all acting like I'm a John Ridley fanboy or something. I don't read everything he puts out, and I don't like everything he puts out either. Somebody, <laughs> somebody almost gave John Ridley a compliment. So this guy just writes, it's John Ridley. Let's see what he's replying to. Um, oh, this big page here. Huh? <laughs> Dude said evil. <laughs> um, yeah. They ruined Cap, so and the current writer evil. for Black Panther is garbage. On a stick. Burn it. Bro. I'm so glad everyone dragging John Ridley through the mud. This is one hour ago, before we started live streaming. Marvel editorial should be ashamed of themselves for letting him crap on T'Challa like this. Next time, get a writer that actually cares about the character, like Jeffrey Thorne or Brian Edward Hill. How about that? Names that you keep know, on repeating. You, you know what I don't like about it? I'm finding way too many times that 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 in regards to uh, anybody associated with the Black Panther Project, you can't tweet them. Whether it's you, you can't you can't they you can't find them on Twitter. And then. So to me, it's like you get to do what you want to do with no accountability whatsoever. None whatsoever. Because I think John really has kind of got hollered at at a, at, a, at a meet and greet or whatever. And he kind of had that like, I'm, 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 you know, you beneath me. I get to do what I want to do, which is no different than the than the actors and actresses or um, director around this particular project. But you don't get to be held accountable. You just get the, That's what this get, is the, for. get the money. Don't, don't worry. We're holding them accountable. And look, we found who Just Vibes is on Twitter. It's Black Law who's in here. It's the same guy. That's funny. Okay. More tweets. John really, really loves to make the child of life miserable. Yeah, this is from you, Theo. It's way out of character. Tony's done worse. And it literally took a civil war for him and Steve to come to blows. The visual aesthetic is that for whatever reason... John Ridley's marching orders were to tear down T'Challa from day one. I hope he got paid well. John Ridley is writing the new Black Panther series for Marvel Comics. Dot, dot, dot. I haven't started reading it yet, but I've been collecting the issues. All the covers are fire. <laughs> oh, Bartholomew, you have not read the books yet. <laughs> I oh, respect he gonna it. Be, he gonna be traumatized. <laughs> Wait. Can we sit up here and laugh at the fact that this was billed as a spy espionage story arc? That's what this was promoted as. Where's the spy? Where's the espionage? Because the story arc sucks. As well as, where's the compliments? The one nice thing we get is about the covers, and it's a guy who never actually read the comic. This well, guy here I says, mean, John it's, Ridley, it's Ryan Coogler. Some of us like Alex Ross. Yeah, oh, yeah. And Nate Moore all need to be fired they're ruining the Black Panther franchises. The page before this, T'Challa had his full mask on. There was no reason for his face to be revealed and catching blows on this one. This John Ridley run has been terribly written and executed. Let me let me fact check. Let me keep you honest, bro. He said the page before that, T'Challa had a full mask on. Okay. So this is the page before that with a full mask on and Captain America punches him. And full mask is still on there. Full mask is still on there, and they cut away to Omolola, who's like uh, running in the fight. Huh. Huh. Something doesn't make sense in this comic book. Purposeful? Illogical. <laughs> uh, nah, it's Steve shaking my head. John Reilly's current run is hot garbage. Man, I don't know why is John Ridley doing anything in this book with a crying emoji. I can't wait till Ridley is off Black Panther. That's from Raw. Yo, Raw. Raw, Raw knows what he's talking about. Another one from Theo. Omolola, Jai, Akili, Gentle, and now Steve Rogers have all put hands on T'Challa in this series. Some have even bloodied him. We can be pissed at John Ridley, but Will Moss and the... Oh, you beat me to it. You got Will Moss. <laughs> ah, look at you, Theo. You're already giving Will Moss the credit that Will Moss deserves. Look at, look at that nod his head. He's like, yes. 
I'm over this. <laughs> Get it, girl. Hey, I was on Star Wars Obsessions channel yesterday. If you guys want to see like a two hour live stream where we were just chit chatting about Star Wars, yeah, enjoy that. Let's go back to these John Ridley comments. Another one from Theo. Oh, he's wrote the same thing. Omolola Jai. Okay. Okay. Why he playing against Shrewbury? Oh, that. Oh, there must. Okay. That doesn't make sense. See, John Ridley. There's a person named John Ridley. How about that? Yo, we're not mad at you, John. We respect you. We follow you. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> um, what My the question heck? is, what made him think that this was a good story? Like, like, come on now. Like, come on. Like, like, stop for a second. Like, <laughs> hey, you know what? Come on. We all, we all critical thinking people. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, hey, come, they, on. They come all, on. You now. know what? You know come what, on. man? I was trying. I was trying to think about this logically, but you can't think about something logically. There's no logic to it. I went all the way back to Iron Man. Come on, man. And, and, the, and the demon in a bottle storyline. Come on now. Come on. I mean, becomes like this super duper blithering alcoholic. And that on. ran for like a good, I want to say like 30 issues. He was dealing with his, with his alcoholism, but he came out of it. Now, on, if, I, if you average, like, say, like folks like like Iron Man comic books, Thor comic books, stuff that hasn't had broken runs, average, do the math and average it out. T'Challa, he's got like 15 here, 30 here, 40 here, 50 here of broken runs. So if you put 15 issues worth of crap, into Black Panther comics and the average life on a Black Panther comic book is like 40 to 50 runs. Half of that run or a huge or what, a third of that run you spent dragging the character. When come we gonna man. see the glory? I mean, come on, man. I mean, like, chill. Like, it's a lot of demographic. It's a lot of love out here and everything. Comic book fan, look, we didn't read some stories, man. Come on now. We we didn't read some stories. We didn't, we didn't read some stories. I, you know, I, I believe each each of us here, as well as those that's writing, I mean, say that are um, watching us right now, if we want to write a comic and they sat down a comic book writer with us, I'm pretty sure we could put out a decent product of a superhero that we love and we care about. It's, it can't be that hard. It, I, I, how did you turn? How did you write this down? Right? I'm a fan of T'Challa. I like Black Panther. This is the story that I'm going to tell. Like how? For 15 issues. It's it's a long little volume that this guy's doing. Out of the 210 comics that have featured Black Panther called Black Panther, this is, this is what we've been getting for the last 15 of them. Dexter Hobbs in Black Panther. First of all, hello, Dexter. First time seeing you or recognizing your name. He says, in Man Without Fear, without the herb, was able to throw hands with a superpowered villain. This current comic makes no sense. Does Black Panther... Or, uh, he ripped Mephisto's heart out and is now getting beat by regular people. Jonathan, do you see how, you see how Aurora is getting treated in X Men Red? Well or poorly? Huh? How? No, well, like how well she's being written in X Men uh -huh. Red. Like they put so much respect on Aurora Monroe in X Men Red, her character, the story arc in and of itself. You sit back and you be like, what y'all got going on over here, man? I know. <laughs> Let's go five more minutes reading some of these. I'm going to need John Ridley to lay off making black men look crazy in these comic book streets. Jason says, oh, this is just a preview. Uh, another one preview. In my bookcase right now, next to John Ridley's Batman. Okay, someone's got something nice to say about you know, John Ridley's Batman. That's nice. John Ridley must be stopped. Oh, I bet thank John Ridley... Didn't have everybody putting hands on Batman, did he? Oh, you know he did. I, 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 I wish you would. Huh. Even when Batman was getting worn out by Bane, all the criminals that Bane released, he wasn't getting his ass whooped like that. <laughs> hey, I like this one here. John Ridley got to put the pen down with the Will Smith. That is the question. And there is... Well, let me actually read what you originally are responding to. Really got to stop and think who the F Ridley was writing this run for. Does he expect T'Challa fans to be excited to see this guy get beat up every issue? 
there isn't even development of Wakanda in this series either. So who was this run supposed to appeal to? And I said something similar to that when I noticed that the colonial, like the villain, uh, the, as well as what the other, what the other guy, Buffalo Soldier, and the things that were coming out of that, like Black Panther fans are probably the least in need of that sort of historical lecture and that sort of like um, analogy stuff. You're being a little bit too clever for my taste. And then here in comes Jason says, that's the question. There needs to be answers. It clearly ain't for the black fans who support, read Black Panther source material. Who was this for? Who? No iconic moments for T'Challa. No nothing. Just Ridley creating division within the story. Just garbage. Guys, these people who are tweeting this thing did not join and and like make like make a like a cohesive unit of like what are we gonna say about John Ridley this week? People on Twitter who write the word John Ridley in the latest tweets or have been saying this today on Wednesday. Thanks this is massive. for a second, you. Mm-hmm. Achilles is a side character. John Ridley admitted in the last issue, not this one, basically through John's words, you only killed off the side character Ta-Nehisi Coates introduced just to introduce your own side character. How many of us have been sitting there like, damn, he ain't even trying to acknowledge Coates' run? You you, you killed off Achilles. Because Achilles, think about this for a second. In the story arc, Achilles did nothing wrong. (laughs) Oh, now, yeah, we can look back at it and be like, actually, Jahai was on some wild stuff and manipulated this whole situation. Right. Achilles Achilles did nothing wrong. Achilles, everybody was manipulated. So you, in essence... Because the side character killing off Achilles doesn't pull on our emotional heart straight. We just confused. Like, what did we say, Chill? This makes no sense. And there's also no we, emotional attachment to this right. character you've introduced in your run. And look, uh, there were friends back yeah. in the day, Jai and uh, the whole Trini- trilogy, Trinity. Listen, when I see this character be treated the exact same way you, John, really just treated Achilles and just treated characters that you're not too fond of, when I see Foldashadi, that prime minister, be treated like dirt the same way you treated the past iteration of Black Panther like dirt, I'm not going to blink. I'm not going to argue why aren't the new writers honoring the last John Ridley story. They're going to treat your thing. I hope they're going to treat you like you're nothing. And I hope they do. I'll be happy when I see the John Ridley run not being furthered. Anything introduced here. I hope Foldashade dies. I hope Tosin dies. I hope every single character just no longer exists anymore. Got to kill that buffalo. Got to kill that buffalo. Him too. I hope the child was daydreaming. <laughs> I, I hope the child was daydreaming or he was asleep. Yeah. Like that that's that's what I hope. Like I don't I don't I don't I don't I don't even you know I'm I'm willing to a degree to work with the Buffalo soldier and cuz I, I I believe there's a story in and of itself with the with the with the the female aliens that are there that can be told um I believe that you mean the characters. female aliens that Captain Marvel could understand the language of, but a few issues ago, Shuri was like, "Our technology doesn't really de- de- decipher what they're talking about." That I happened in this that, comic. Let me find that page. I believe a story can evolve out of that. I, I, I believe a story can evolve out of that. That said, I, I want this this story run to just. I don't to. I just want it to go away. I don't want it to be acknowledged. Now, I'm, I'm not. I'm not that. That 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 cruel. Well, I want to see new characters. I would like to see what happens with Tolson because they have uh in the uh the second issue of Wakanda, whatever, or the first issue of Wakanda, they were talking about there might be an interest between Shuri and Tolson. So that's the first time her sexuality has been acknowledged. So I would like to see where that goes. I don't want to see any even Roxanne Gay, who I you know got my own little issues with. I don't want to see their characters go away. I don't because we've seen that too much with T'Challa where characters that get introduced go away and they never return. Mm-hmm. I want to see the world building. So for the next writer that comes on board, Build. bring Achille back some type of way. The resurrection altar is in place and everything hey, like that. Hey, they brought Jai back. Remember when Jai yeah. died? We all thought he was dead. Even T'Challa recognized he was dead, but uh, apparently the body's still alive. He faked it. So I guess T'Challa, this smart character, really couldn't figure out that a dead body was a dead body, huh? Oh. You mean the dude with superhuman cat-like abilities? Yes. 
that that dude there. And here's yeah. what I was talking about with uh, Captain Marvel, how she's just going to be speaking in their language and that alien foreign language there, uh, according to that text box. That is not something that Shuri could do, but apparently she can. Are they speaking Cree? Is like maybe Captain Marvel has a superpower that I'm not aware of. You guys can inform me. Does Carol Danvers have some sort of like universal translator on her ear or something? Is that what's going on there? Well, Interlac is DC, so I got nothing. Uh. Al you no and right no, well. no different than you know what that sound like? You know what, what that sound like, chill? That sound like a, a, a plot hole about as crazy as why does somebody who's already has the heart shaped herb in their system need to take an artificial? Hey, you know what the correlation is? Same writer. John Ridley made Jace Fox the result of an affair with an Asian woman and erased black women from the story of the UK Black Panthers in the Gorilla TV show. He needs to go. Let's read some more, John Ridley. The fact that they allowed this to be published, I can't. I'm happy this trash as run ends in March. John Ridley's writing is garbage. He really thinks he revolutionary with his anti black sh- towards T'Challa. Oh, you're, you're just a lot off. It look, feels like some taking advantage of Chadwick Boseman's death to destroy the entire legacy of this character. Black audiences deserve and deserve better than this. Marvel Comics needs to fix this with the quickness with T'Challa. John Ridley's run ends in March, Black Panther. Here we go. DK, the leader of the bunch. You know him well. He says, John Ridley needs jail. <laughs> Cap told T'Challa, or I'm going to beat your black ass. And then he beat his ass. F John Ridley. Hold on. Hold on. He, he, uh, <laughs> he got straight to it. We got, is John Ridley still writing it? Yeah, he is still writing it. Get John Ridley the F out of here, says Mile High Blurred. Agree with that one, Mile High Blurred. John Ridley, U.S. government, handshake. F the Black Panther. Definitely feels like that. This John Ridley panel is making the rounds, and comic book Twitter is doing racial wars. Context, BP fought Steve, capped with his butt. Further context, BP pulled a Batman Tower of Babylon storyline, and a villain stole his plans to beat the Avengers. Cap was mad, rightly so. Oh, I think Nightwing is justifying it. There's that's always funny. one or two. Yeah, but that's also like, I'm the not thing, mad at that. The thing, yeah, because Cap, nobody, nobody's saying that Cap wouldn't be mad. Cap got mad at Tony and everything like that. So Cap is going to be that person that takes the more high ground when it suits the narrative. But the response, the response, because Tony's civil war, his treachery resulted in somebody dying. You know, we, we need to remember that. Like, a superhero lost their life in that. Ain't nobody died with T'Challa. It's just you, Cap. The Avengers thought they had what some. Was, as a matter of fact, the, what was the, the skin battle. tone of they that They didn't character. get treated. Batman's, his protocols hurt a whole lot worse with the Justice League than what T'Challa did to the <laughs> Avengers. He just nullified them. So, I get it, Cap. You don't like this dude knowing how to stop you because he didn't hurt you. He just knew how to neutralize you. you but that's also not what up. we're complaining about, though. That's also not nothing to do with the main issue of what was going on here. It's also the pattern of what's going on here. Of uh, justifying Steve's anger is is a dumb thing to do. It's it's one of those distractive, like, oh, I can't give these guys so much credit, so I'm gonna al- offer this alternative point, which is adjacent to what you're talking about, but it's really not uh, addressing that. But but again, like a guy's allowed to tweet that he didn't know that I was gonna come here on here on Twitter and just read a couple of tweets and he'd be featured here. I'm sure if we actually had a conversation with Nightwing reviews, it'll he, he it won't sound this way. So this dude says, "Nah, John really must be stopped." We got. Oh my God, people are dragging John Ridley for the fight with Captain America and Black Panther. This guy's a confused face. John Ridley, count your effing days. Wow. John Ridley is that, an that, abomination. That, that, that last one, that one before that said people are upset about Captain America beating up T'Challa. No, that's not what we're upset about. We're upset that Captain America is beating up T'Challa also. <laughs> It's like she, she just okay. like you know, you know, no, it reminds me of it reminds me of police brutality needs to stop. What about people in the black community selling drugs? What about that? Like, no, why, why, we can't talk about this issue here. Why do you have to go everywhere else not to give credit to this issue here? To, to your point, Shil, it's it's an adjacent point, but it's not the point. Mm-hmm. We're talking about the tr- consistent treatment of the character throughout the whole story. So Cap's just the latest. Right. He's an abomination. 
Keep him away from Storm, Monet, Blue Marvel, Misty Knight, even the Bish Auntie. Keep him from all black characters. My heart is broken seeing how he writes T'Challa. He had taken everything from him and beaten Jim every chance he gets. Look at that crybaby face. Look at that. Look how upset this white kid is. He probably reads the Black Panther all the time. Every Wednesday, he gets disappointed. <laughs> Marvel, please get rid of John Ridley. Bro, this is not stopping. That was only four hours ago. <laughs> Cut off John Ridley's hands. New comic book day. Oh, never mind. Thank goodness John Ridley's series is ending, says C.S. Stellar. John Ridley is a trash writer, and I'm glad he's dry <laughs> ending this month. That's a photo of John Ridley. John Ridley is like Taylor Swift fan. Even hey, if the person isn't, if the isn't racist, the fan base writer will never let them beat the allegations question how did they uh, say how did they draw a comparison between the, the 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 militia in the white in the white uniforms which were dope by the way I, I really did like those costumes trying to say that they're the same similar costumes that what jai's militia is wearing right now which are dope as well but i'm like that's not the same thing, man. Like, and I don't even know what happened to them characters from the first few issues in their white costumes because I like them. Them costumes were fire. I like the ones Jai got too. So going forward, I want to see both them units do something. I don't want to see them go away. I, I said I would Marvel, only go. I need a Marvel Legends figure of each. <laughs> Yo, John Ridley is Nate Moore's pen name. <laughs> Good one. I said I'd go five more minutes. Uh, I actually want to read more of these tweets. Unless you guys have anywhere to be, uh, let's just kick you here and read some more of these tweets. I can stay for a couple months. John Ridley is an OP. What's that mean? Oh, he's an op. Black women been warned about him when he did that TV series and he raced black women. Nah, John Ridley could have continued with the space stuff. Yeah, he could have continued with the space stuff. Shout out to Eve Ewing for continuing things that were written 40 years ago. This is from John Ridley's Black Panther run. I guess it's that photo, that, that image. What is this? T'Challa can handle any of these people. Ridley is awful. John Ridley wrote Undercover Brother and 12 Years a Slave. He is not anti-black. Okay. There we go. We got an opinion there from Marva saying that he's not. You and your 16th never, follower, shout out to you. Never, never said he was anti-black. Said he was a terrible writer when it comes to T'Challa. Let's move on. I'm sure it's responding to someone who said anti black. And actually, for context's sake, we're going to click on this and we're going to see here. So it was responding to Jason's anti black. That's what, that's what the guy said. Got it. Just because a writer is black doesn't mean you need to hire them. Breach. John Ridley was a terrible choice and should have never been allowed near Black Panther comics. Shame on y'all, Marvel, for allowing this man to tarnish T'Challa and our black representation. Hashtag Black Panther. I think get some people get it misconstrued too because I uh Stephen King is a great horror writer. He is. I don't know if Stephen King would be a great comic, comic writer writer or a great drama writer or a great comedy writer. So what our, our critique of, of, of John Ridley is very specific. Stay away from superheroes. You go do you go do I, I'm not gonna tell you you can't go do 12 years of slave. And I happen to like Undercover Brother. That is one of the funniest movies in the world to me. Now, I don't know if that was his writing or that was more so by Eddie Griffin. But I love Undercover Brother. I don't want that said. I don't want you nowhere near no comic books. No, no superhero comic books. You book. can't do anything. You can't go to McDonald's and supersize. There's nothing superhero you can do. Nope. Yeah. Nerdette was telling us earlier when the stream started that you should go see what he did with DC Lucius Fox. So that it's it's just not translating to comics, folks, DC or Marvel. Richardo tells us John Ridley can be pro-black, but still a horrible writer for T'Challa. I would co-sign that. Pro-black ain't anti-white. Is you just like I said, he I just like and like the we do not want him writing comics. Definitely not black man. Get two things get, can both be true at the same time. Mm -hmm. Facts. Get John Ridley off the Black Panther series. Please let him write this shit. Please, anybody, even a white dude. I don't care. We got to put respect back on his name. This ain't it. 61 people co-signed that. And I like how the new Twitter actually tells you there's like 5,000 who viewed it. That's cool. John Ridley is the, perfect, is the perfect example of there being black writers that do not have the range. I'm reading too many of Jason M. Pertichal. I must have liked them before that. I even read that everything. Umbra says, John Ridley is a disaster. What the F is Marvel doing? Y'all need to stop supporting them straight up. Do not purchase this crap. 
maybe then they will listen. Ah, that's harsh, man. It's like, because if I don't support it, then the narrative of the Black Panther comic doesn't sell is furthered and the writers that are quality are deterred from joining this comic book or else, or, or there won't be enough money to justify hiring Al Ewing, Jonathan Aikman. I, I, I would like to, I would like to say this in regards to that because, and I do understand when people say that the thing is, is that um, we have an advantage that we didn't have like 10, 15, 20 years ago. And that's the advantage of social media. As long as we get out in front of the narrative and say what we don't like, like, what we're doing right here on um, chill myself d real and everybody's tweeting and everything like that you're letting it be known specifically what you don't like we're not saying we don't like the character we don't like the author and the story that the author is telling i think that's it's significant because that lets the comic book company it should let them know that hey this character has a huge fan base bigger than what we may have initially thought they're speaking out. They love the character. They don't like the writing. So hopefully that'll get it to where chill. We get those writers that you speak of to to put this character, uh, elevate this character the way he should be in the supporting cast the way they should be. And allow me to fix your sentence, enhance your sentence. You said they don't like the writing. All of them don't like the writing. The only positive things we get here is when someone said, oh, I wouldn't say he's anti-black. That's about the most you can give if you want to give him a bone. And they like the Alex Ross covers. <laughs> You're right. They did. <laughs> Let me guess. John Ridley's Black Panther? <laughs> yeah. Um, Bingo. Uh, I'm just saying I think it's telling how Zeb Wells has gotten so much crap for the most menial, menial stuff in Amazing Spider-Man is being touted as some unreadable book. Yet John Ridley has been doing literal character assassination to T'Challa for a year and barely anyone is saying a word. Hey. We're here for you today. B stands. Today, we support you. And that's what this is all about. I stopped reading John Ridley's Black Panther because why continue to read something that isn't resonating and then complain constantly? Oh, you must not be a Star Wars fan. <laughs> but I did uh, listen to an interview he did to understand his point of view. That usually helps. I think his initial focus wasn't bad at all. There we go. That's somewhat positive. There's one. There's one. <laughs> but even then, she's, it's someone who said that she stopped reading his run. And yeah. she just wanted to humanize him by listening to his interview and his point of view. Even then, it's not very, it's not much. She didn't say it was actually good. And she say, I read that interview and now it all makes sense. I read that interview or, or I listened to that interview. John Ridley's character assassinating. I'm shocked. You're not. You're being sarcastic. Uh, FYI, just because you're not a fan of how a writer has written a character doesn't mean they hate the character. You just said this, Theo. I'm not a fan of John Ridley's Black Panther. Do I think he hates T'Challa? No. End of the day, he threw some ideas in a book, and the end result was half-baked. That was one of the nicest things we read today, CJ. John Ridley needs to be stopped. What the hell? John Ridley is so garbage. Not when an un uh, unexpected ally arrives at the fray to stand at T'Challa's side. I think this is someone who just kind of advertised new Marvel comics. I think that's what they're going for. I gotta say, I appreciate John Ridley's work on the other history of the DC universe. Quoting Jay-Z, my president is black. Lyrics on the final page is chef's kiss. Okay, okay. Way to go. Keep it up, John Ridley. Go stay away. Go to DC. I don't read those comics. I'm a Marvel guy. John Ridley probably seems to be trying to do as much damage as he can to T'Challa's character before he leaves this title. <laughs> Ridley's run made me appreciate Tanahisi Coates' contributions to the Black Panther franchise even more. Then in that aspect, he has accomplished his mission. I guess so. He, he retroactively made that prior run better. <laughs> well, I was talking <laughs> about the part where he was assassinating character. He sure succeeded in, in that swimmingly. And, and you know what? At the end of the day, we can, we can speak ad nauseum about what he's done with, with other characters and everything like that. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about this specific character, him writing this specific character. He sucks when it comes to this specific character. Now, why he happens to suck with this specific character, we don't know. <laughs> but what we do know is he sucks. Yeah, we know that. Only buying the books to support Black Panther, not reading them, makes you appreciate Coates' run so much more. You guys are being way too negative. At least... 
Peralto's artwork is slightly better than it's been. It was better in this issue, but still. That's not something that I'm going to celebrate. But really still sucks. <laughs> they say we've been too negative. I can say something positive about Jean Ridley. What's that? I can. I can. I like Tosin. <laughs> I like Palisade. I do. Um, I like I like the cats that were introduced in the white military uniforms earlier. I do. Um, I like Jai's military unit. Uh, I can give him credit for pivoting. We don't, you know, people not really seeing it, but I like how he pivoted away from his insinuation of T'Challa and Jai's relationship and, and, and did something different with it. I like that. That was smart. You paid attention. Um, um, I like Amalolo. She did have the correct response to realizing that Jai was alive and everything like that. So I like that, you know, um, the you vibranium. See them hug, you see them hugging themselves goodbye rather than a kiss? And put these reading up. Is it blurry? No, I see it. I see it. I just had to put them reading glasses on. So, you know, I can say some positive things about, you know, John Ridley. Uh, that said, I don't want him on the. I, I don't want him near no more Marvel, blacks specifically black superheroes. Like maybe black superheroes in America, but no black superheroes in in another country. No, yeah, go go right, Hawkeye, Kate Bishop. So he's an Oscar winning screenwriter, and he made an excellent choice for a cover artist. If that's even his choice, you can't even give him that. Come on, think of something okay. nice to oh, say, D-Real. I, 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 hey, I tried, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> the tweets continue. You know Go what? find something nice. His African, his African-American dialect for non-African-American characters is, is spot on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it is. It totally is. That's right. <laughs> we go to Bobby. And y'all had the nerve to talk about Coates, LOL. John Ridley is trash. Yeah. His entire Black Panther run so far and the twist in I Am Batman genuinely makes me feel like John really hates T'Challa and Jace Fox. This page alone is out of character for T'Challa and Sir Steve. We all know the page. Ridley in comics is just a mistake. Oh, yeah. John Ridley is the worst writer ever. Maybe he's not the worst writer ever. Like Chuck Austin exists. New, If anyone read Black uh, X-Men in 2004. New Black Panther book by John Ridley. There, that's not positive. That's not negative. That's just neutral. I've been sticking it out, hoping for the book to get better. But this, I'm glad John Ridley is leaving the book because he either hates the Avengers or he hates Black Panther. Because Steve wouldn't disrespect this friend like this, and T'Challa would never take the disrespect. They need to keep John Ridley away from black characters. That's that's a theme. Everyone seems to be saying that. Um, Batman, John Ridley has been a joke. He has issues. He has 13 of them, and there's two more coming. So I was reading Black Panther 13 by John Ridley when I came across the most offensive page I read in this bad run on the character. Here we have Steve Rogers telling his close friend, allegedly, T'Challa to go back to Africa or get beat up. Marvel, what's up? He basically did say go back to Africa. I don't, I don't really like to Steve Rogers being treated that way. Oh, that's... He said Ooh, go back to Wakanda. All, that's all bad. And so close to Martin Luther King's birthday and Black History Month. Ouch. Yeah. But that was on purpose, though. I'm sure that was some sort of like double speak to kind of show you how the white man, how America treats the Africans. But like that's Steve. That's the thing. Steve's you got to love Steve. Steve would never say stuff like that. Don't mischaracterize Steve uh, for the sake of getting your uh, that, that's, commentary. That's the other thing. Steve Rogers has been painted. Like I said, I, we didn't read a lot of comics. We didn't see Steve get into it with some people. His character, the way he's being portrayed in this comic, like he ain't got no love, no empathy, no sympathy, no compassion for T'Challa whatsoever. And I keep saying, I'm saying to myself, why are they saying people do a whole lot worse? A whole lot worse, specifically to you. And considering what you did with this whole Cosmic Cube thing a few, a few years ago, I don't think you got the right to talk. I, they, He is married to an Asian woman, so oh, that's something else. John Ridley, look, because the person said Black Panther thirteen, f you, John Ridley. 
<laughs> it is crazy. Is John really a white guy in blackface? Seems like it. He must really, really hate being born black. I'm, I don't. Next can't, one. Can't speculate on none of that. I will no, keep my comments to his writing. <laughs> mm. When is the horror of John really writing the Black Panther solo series going to end? I need a new reader on that book, writer on that book ASAP. Wish I could talk ish about Tom King and John Ridley on this hell site without their stands going insane on me. Hey, they're they're about to go insane on me. New 52. Uh, uh, shut that door. I don't know what that means. Oh, it's because this guy's name is John Ridley. Funny enough. Finding me and John Ridley's hate threads. <laughs> huh. Today's testimonial to uh, nah, nah. John Ridley is a popular name. I think. Look, this guy is John Ridley. Maybe we should close it out here. We don't support John Ridley, and that's why Ridley's run is coming to an end in March. The Black Panther comic isn't on the verge of being canceled. I thought since you... Oh, is that right? The issue 16 will be somebody else? That's what Jared, Jared is saying. I thought since you chose to have T'Challa as your avatar, you would have been more informed about the comics. So he's telling this to someone who is wrong. John Ridley hitting bong. <laughs> what if Jace... Oh, that's a DC thing. Yeah, let's just close it out there. That would be the final comment that we would, I think, a lot you, you of those. Don't make it, you don't make it worse, Chill. This run started off bad with the very first issue. Huzzah. And it got progressively worse. Like, that's that's the same. And we were all critiquing the same thing. We were like, T'Challa wouldn't act like this. T'Challa wouldn't speak like this. These characters wouldn't conduct themselves like this. What's going on with the plot? This doesn't make any sense. We were all critiquing the same thing since day one. And the series only got worse. That is a damn shame. Nico Bean, what do you think of the latest issue of and Black Panther 13? Uh, I didn't read it. I just saw the um, uh, panel with Captain America beating up on T'Challa. Don't even show me that. I don't, I don't, I don't need to see that. I, I, <laughs> I, I did not need to see that. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, y'all saw, y'all saw what I posted on Twitter. Uh, that's what I said. That we needed to do an emergency live stream. Yeah. So, uh, Here I'm it sorry. Is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I got here late, but, uh, but yeah, this, oh my gosh, I, Jesus, I was dumbfounded and I almost, I almost had to leave. I almost had to leave my job for a little bit because I had to cool off. I was like, no, they did not do that. Just just blatantly outright do this to our beloved character. And then on top of that, I saw another one uh, when I got back home where um, Captain America tells him to initially, well, really, go back to Africa. I'm like, hold up. What in the world? Let's, let's put this in perspective because, Chill, you said this. You, you alluded to this earlier. Let's, let's, let's put it like this. So, um... <laughs> oh, man. Um, when is Chadwick Boseman's birthday? It was uh, August. No, yeah, August twenty. November. Oh, I'm sorry, November. My bad, November. Okay, November. yeah. Thank you, thank you, D. Thank you. And when did the movie come out? November. <laughs> November. Okay, because yeah. I'm trying to figure out. Somebody got to be looking at the room. Like if I'm the DJ, I the crowd stopped dancing a long time ago. Okay, so. Um, he passed in the, he he was born in November. We mm. dropped the movie in November. We've been having him get his him his yam cakes whooped straight up to November and beyond November, right? Yep. Um, uh, and the latest issue of Black Panther drop, he getting hand capped is the latest person putting hands on, poking him up, right? And this issue was released this Wednesday. What's what's Monday? What's Monday? Hey, Martin Monday, Luther King birthday. Oh, Martin Luther King birthday. Well, what's next month? Black, Black History, History Month. Black History Month. Oh, when am I supposed to feel? And, 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 and I had. Let me see if I got this right. Before Wakanda Forever, I had the Woman King and Teal, right? Emancipation. Yeah, yeah. Before Wakanda Forever, yeah. And, and emancipation. I'm trying to figure out when I'm supposed to start feeling good. <laughs> no, oh, don't you remember oh, the Christmas movie? Before no. I forget. Before I forget. About feeling good, 
Remember, I was telling y'all to see Devotion. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, hold on. Devotion red, is red, actually red, a good movie. Red herring. That's depressing too. <sighs> Oh, oh, I'm man. sure Creed See? 3 will be a positive story. Oh, wait. Sylvester Stallone. Even... That's not the direction they're going. You know what? Sylvester Stallone is interesting because he just started a whole new TV series and he's starting to look like the dude from Breaking Bad, the old head oh. that was bald. <laughs> oh, that guy. I remember that guy. Yo, yeah. Nico, we were just about to close it right when you joined. So before oh, we go, let's make sure you do get uh, everything off your chest with John Ridley. Is this someone that you will ever support or read a comic from John Ridley again? I knew from the jump that it was kind of fishy the way he came on. But no, I would never read anything from John Ridley because I've would you done want, my... Who do you want to read or write, excuse me, the next Black Panther or issue 16 of Black Panther? Who who are the candidates? Please don't hit me for this, but I would try to get Christopher Priest, <laughs> Hudlin, or um, uh, Coates back. Because Coates had the best run from this is when I started reading Black Panther comics was from Coates. And when the first Black Panther movie came out in 2018, I was starting to see a little bit of what Coates was doing and how they put it in the movie. And to be honest with you, if they were to put some of what Coates had put in his movie, I mean, in his uh, comic run into the movie, like actually put it in there, that would have been better. But yeah, Coates would be my top priority. Yeah, especially when I'm not a Coates guy, but what he did with Shuri, she's alive again. Mm -hmm. She's Aja Adana, got some new enhanced powers that mm -hmm. are way different from what mm -hmm. Black Panther is, and mm -hmm. giving her, her her own self is a positive, as Theo nods accordingly. Yeah, that is the video. That is the one hour and 17 minutes chit chatting about John Ridley. We all have YouTube channels. I'll put it in the description later. If you don't know who Be Real with D Real, see him. If you don't know Nico Bean with the stream, see him. Steam and I A S I J S. What do those word letters stand for? I ain't saying. I'm just saying. With Theo <laughs> Butler. <laughs> yeah.